Lucas in New Zealand says, uh, he's a question about ambition. How do I stay mindful of my personal values despite contrary professional values being thrust upon me in the workplace? Mm. Uh, and I guess the, the question that I would append to this is, um, does ambition help more than it uh, hurts or is it actually harmful? Um, is, it, is ambition toxic in a way? Well, it certainly can be toxic. I mean, it's, it's not... Uh uh, yeah, I mean, the, there is the the totally egocentric, narcissistic, uh, pathology of ambition, and that hence hence the, the question. Uh, but on some level, it, it, it can be purified by a different set of goals. I mean, like like you can you can look if you just want to be famous. That's one thing. I, mean, I would put that on the, the toxic side, and mm -hmm. it's also on the confused side because you're not recognizing all the downsides that come with fame. But um, you can also just want agency because you realize there's an opportunity to do a lot of good in the world, right? Like you could just you just want to be able to to uh, get your good ideas out there or have interesting conversations at a higher and higher level, right? So, um, so yeah, I think you can draw a lot of energy that uh, is very positive uh, and can be motivated by compassion and interest and you know, cur curiosity and compassion, you know, uh, dialed all the way up in terms of the, the kind of the energy can look a lot like ambition. You know, there could be so, or so somebody just wants to make art and loves making art and then finds an audience that appreciates that art and then all of a sudden, you know, whatever, you're, you're, you're Lady Gaga or somebody who's just at the absolute summit of fame and apparently uh, apparent ambitions realized mm -hmm. but you know i mean I'm just, I'm just just picking her out of thin air i don't know if she's ambitious or, or not but or, or egocentric or not but um the you could there's no reason why you couldn't have that level of success and that level of drive purely for creative mm -hmm. altruistic reasons i mean it's just it's just energy on that level so there's yeah. there's both forms of it now, what about the the values piece here? So, so Lucas is saying, you know, I, how do I stay mindful of my personal values when there are contrary professional values being thrust upon me? Uh, Ryan, I think about if you're you're working a job that is completely out of line with your values, yeah, or even halfway out of line with your values. Right, right. You, you're going to feel some some discontent there. Yeah, there's going to be some some pulling and tugging that that uh, you actually won't be able to do anything about if you continue to work for that company. I mean, it's when I think about this question, it makes me think about, um, and I'm going to butcher this quote from Thoreau, but it's, you know, it's not a matter of being busy, but it's what you're busy about. Yeah. And I mean, that's the question that Lucas has to ask or anyone else out there who's seeking uh, fame or, you know, just doing work for the sake of work. It's like, what are you actually working towards so at a company where your your values are out of alignment uh that's that, that's a, that's going to lead to a dead end eventually right yeah well yeah i would agree I, I think there's you know the framing can do a lot i mean i think there's there are things that uh can be stigmatized as negative which aren't necessarily negative but obviously there are things that are negative which which you know you're going to there's a a uh, a real hypocrisy or a real uh, conflict in lending any energy to that cause if, mm -hmm. if it's not your cause but I mean there are things I mean uh, I guess what I'm uh, trying to carve out here is that there are things that can seem superficial and would be, would not be on anybody's list of valuable contributions to society, which in certain circumstances can be quite valuable. I mean, just like, you know, just kind of mindless entertainment, right? Like if you're working for, if you're producing some show that you don't think is all that good, uh, uh, it's not prof certainly not profound in any way. But the reality is, is that there are a lot of people who are living very stressful lives mm -hmm. who by even just tuning out for 22 minutes on that show... Right. Are, it's, it's good for them, it's right? You know, valve, yeah, yeah, you know, and it's it, and it's just, um, and this is actually this is even true with meditation. I mean, so there's some people who are saying, you know, I'm I'm so stressed out, I'm so unhappy. There's so much going on in my life. 
I, I find that if I sit down and meditate, it just it feels worse, right? Like I'm just mm. ruminating about my problems. I mean, honestly, I would. It, there are many cases where it would be skillful to just go watch Game of Thrones, right? I mean, like if that allows you to forget about your problems for that period, just to just to uh, provide some relief, mm-hmm. that's a that's a can be a, a totally skillful reset, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, so it's not it's not that you everything has to be, you know, profound all the time. But yeah, no, there's, there there can be certainly a there are toxic projects which no ethical person would want to be associated with and if you find yourself part of one of those i think you you got to get out yeah. i think also there's there's profundity profundity in the sort of banal experiences like we might be doing something that we, we might perceive as banal i'm not really adding value to the world but because i work changing oil or I'm at, a garbage at, collector right or i'm a, a waiter or a waitress these are incredibly meaningful experience or can be incredibly meaningful experiences yeah. not just to the person but also the people that you're serving yeah. you're, oh, yes. you're you're helping solve problems and i think real society doesn't function without people like that yeah i think maybe ask that question what are the problems i'm helping solve in in, in doing this job this career or this mission that i'm working on mm-hmm. um and then I think you can find great meaning in helping other people solve those problems.